Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Professor argues that Trump's words after Vegas shooting are as bad as the shooting itself. Las Vegas professor, Tessa Winkleman, argued that after the Vegas shooting, President Trump encouraged violence and will cause people to die. Right when he got elected, I told my classes, three semesters ago, that some of us won't be affected by this presidency. But others are going to die. Other people will die because of this. Words, especially if they're coming from someone who is the president, have consequences, said the professor. Is she suggesting that the mass shooting is somehow President Trump's fault? I don't know that these events would have inevitably happened whether or not he got elected. But he has rhetorical powers every president has to encourage or to discourage, violence. So far, all he's done is to encourage violence, she said. Sarah Huckabee Sanders responded to these charges. It is sad she is teaching students such divisive, inaccurate, and irresponsible rhetoric. She should be ashamed of herself, and the university should look into it. What a terrible example to set for students, said Sanders. While we respect academic freedom in the classroom and the right to free speech, we believe the comments were insensitive. Especially given the series of events this week and the healing process that has begun in the community, said Tony Allen, a spokesman for the school. James Clapper just flipped. Look what he admitted about his evil plans for Trump. James Clapper Jr. is a former National Intelligence Director. He recently went on CNN's Don Lemon on early Wednesday. Don Lemon asks, Are you questioning his fitness? Clapper responds, I really question his ability to be, his fitness to be, in this office. I also am beginning to wonder about his motivation for it, maybe he is looking for a way out. Clapper then went back to the old trope that he is worried about the president's access to nuclear codes. In a fit of pique, he decides to do something about Kim Jong-un, there's actually very little to stop him, Clapper said, referencing North Korea's leader. The whole system is built to ensure rapid response if necessary. So there's very little in the way of controls over exercising a nuclear option, which is pretty damn scary. Isn't this ridiculous? Clapper is the same guy that lied under oath, according to Darren Lisa. Just read this article in the Washington Post. What CNN is doing is evil in this video. They are trying to make it okay to hate Trump. Get this in front of every patriot you know. We are winning this war. Share this if you still stand with Trump and don't give a damn what Claptrap says. Let's show them that Trump nation is still strong. Let's show them that Trump nation is still strong. Uh-oh Nancy Pelosi's dirty family secret just came out. See before deleted. In recent days, Nancy Pelosi has publicly supported the removal of Confederate statues. Last Thursdays, she called for Republicans to help remove the, the statues after Charlottesville. Here is what she said last week. The Confederate statues in the halls of Congress have always been reprehensible, Pelosi said in a statement. If Republicans are serious about rejecting white supremacy, I call upon Speaker, Paul, Ryan to join Democrats to remove the Confederate statues from the Capitol immediately. The truth is, the Democrats have a pretty poor history on civil rights, including Nancy Pelosi's own father who was the mayor of Baltimore, and was one of the people who dedicated statues to Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson, and in his speech said that they defended sacred institutions. What are those sacred institutions? One of them is slavery. Let's ruin Pelosi's day by sharing this all across the internet. The world needs to know how crooked Pelosi really is. Share this, patriots. Thanks for reading.
During speech in Reno, veterans snuck behind Trump and something unexpected. Donald Ballard threw himself on a grenade in the Vietnam War and he came up to speak at the annual American Legion convention in Reno earlier. It was an inspiring speech. The crowd loved it. During the speech, President Trump called Medal of Honor winner Donald Ballard on stage. Donald Ballard then said the following about our great president. There is no greater love than someone who loves this country. And I believe we've elected the right leader to lead us out to drain the swamp. The American Legion crowd absolutely loved it. That's because America's favorite president Donald J. Trump is kicking ass and taking names. The establishment media can't stop him. The economy is booming under him. The Dow closed at 21,900 yesterday. The Dow is up 4,000 points since November 4, 2016. Trump is making history and he will keep on winning. We need to fight the media and share this everywhere. They are trying to make it seem like Trump isn't doing anything. Truth Bomb McConnell just said the one thing about Trump that sent media running for the hills. The media has been trying to separate Trump from the base and from the Republican Party from day one. Now they have been working non-stop to force McConnell to dump Trump and break up the party. There is just one problem. Mitch McConnell said he and President Trump are working together just fine. McConnell's office released a very clear statement today to finally put to bed all the nasty rumors that he was turning on Trump. The president and I, and our teams have been and continue to be in regular contact about our shared goals. We are working together to develop tax reform and infrastructure legislation so we can grow the economy and create jobs, to prevent a government default, to fund the government so we can advance our priorities in the short and long terms, to pass the defense authorization and defense appropriations bills so we can support our troops and help implement an effective strategy against ISIL, to provide relief from Obamacare, and to continue our progress for our nation's veterans. We have a lot of work ahead of us, and we are committed to advancing our shared agenda together and anyone who suggests otherwise is clearly not part of the conversation. What's the old saying? Straight from the horse's mouth, I believe. Well, in that case, the horse has spoken. Let's end these nasty rumors by sharing the real story out everywhere. James Woods wrecks idiot Lib who claims it's harder to buy cough medicine than an AK-47. It has been painful watching liberals talk about gun rights in the media following the Las Vegas mass shooting by psychopath Steve Paddock. The first reason is because they have been trying to exploit the situation to pass new gun restrictions. The second reason is because they clearly know nothing about guns. MSNBC's political analyst Steve Schmidt proved this during a recent appearance on HBO's Real Time. In arguing against the Second Amendment, he told Bill Maher that America's founders could no more conceive of an AK-47 than they could have conceived of a spaceship. He continued, these weapons were not conceived of, were not understood, were not imagined in the context of the time when the amendment was authored and we ought to have a real debate in this country about whether we want military weapons, weapons of war in the hand of every Joe who wants to go in and buy 30 of them. Steve then foolishly claimed that it is harder to buy cough medicine than it is to buy an AK-47, or 50 of them. Conservative actor James Wood saw Schmidt make this assertion and shot back on Twitter, I will bet you $10,000 I can buy cough medicine more easily and more quickly than you can buy an automatic AK-47. Put up or shut up. Writer Corey Stallings destroyed Schmidt's argument, explaining how lengthy the process is to procure an AK-47. Wrote Corey, first, you'll have to produce a photo ID. Then, you'll have to fill out the never-ending ATF Form 4473. If you pass that, you're formally presented with literature on the Youth Handgun Safety Act. Then, if you live in one of the good states, you can pay and take your new blaster home. Keep in mind, this is the process in a gun-friendly state. He concluded, as you can tell, that's a pretty big difference. But, 
The biggest difference of them all? Owning a gun is a constitutional right. Possessing in Wyquil isn't. Are you glad Woods and Stallings wrecked this liberal's dumb claim? Dawn. Jr. blasts Michelle Obama for calling liberal sexual predator Harvey Weinstein a wonderful human being. Hollywood producer and Democratic donor Harvey Weinstein is coming under fire for sexually harassing a large amount of women over many years. However, Michelle Obama once said that he was a wonderful human being. I want to start by thanking Harvey Weinstein for organizing this amazing day. This is possible because of Harvey. He is a wonderful human being a good friend and just a powerhouse. And the fact that he and his team took the time to make this happen for all of you should say something not about me or about this place, but about you," said Michelle Obama. Don Jr. hit Michelle Obama back with an epic singer. It's like supporting someone against your own voice but he's a Hollywood liberal so it's all good, tweeted Don Jr. He is of course poking at Michelle's condescending speech about women who wouldn't vote for Hillary. Any woman who voted against Hillary Clinton voted against their own voice, said Michelle. It doesn't say as much about Hillary, and everybody's trying to worry about what it means for Hillary. What does this mean for us, as women that we look at those two candidates, as women, and many of us said, he is better for me. His voice is more true to me. To me that just says, you don't like your voice. You like the thing you're told to like, said Michelle.